Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Expert Division with a tournament win for the qualifying round here in the Thanksgiving tournament of Golf Clash the game video sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Make sure to get our ultimate tournament guides that you can find on Patreon link directly in the description down below. Before we take a closer look make sure to hit the thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Info box on the right hand side with the club distance adjustment and the elevation adjustment also what ball and club type I suggest you to play with. Have in mind that those are all suggestions and you don't have to follow it if you don't want to but there is always a plan behind it. So let's go to hole number one. For hole number one we have a simple win and here we're gonna position ourselves for a nice and sweet wedge because I want to avoid trickle this ball into the green and have a long pot and I'd rather take a short wedge instead of that. Obviously each of their own but that's my goal here. So I'm gonna start with a puck 5 plus with a bullseye just by the rough slash sand trap line at plus 25 at the top of it. Those of you playing with Apocalypse level 4, you start at complete max with a bullseye just by the sand trap line. Max plus 10, power 5 ball settings. And we're gonna use 2 right spin, no top spin, no back spin. Max curl to the right uh, is what we're looking for. Um, and max overpower with a slow needle. You can see that the ball comes up there nicely. Now this was a, with a great right. Great left will be a little bit further left and a perfect will also be a little bit further left. Nonetheless though, it's gonna be a simple wedge towards the pin. And here I'm using the regular EB school method, stretching out to max to look to where uh, the pin stands in relation to max, max and min club basically. So turning the screen around to see and to judge, obviously this is something that if you don't have a ruler on your screen, which a majority don't, then you're gonna have to make a, an educated guess. 20% elevation and um, we're gonna get ourselves uh, the adjustment. Perfect or great ball is gonna go in here with the end bringer. That's the beauty with the end bringer as the accuracy is so massive. And um, so again, it's a simple wedge and I'd rather take this than a long pot from the very far left of the green. So there we do have it. We do have the eagle on hole number one. For hole number two, we're gonna play with a win four ball, which is recommended. We want win between six and a half and eight miles per hour. So a kingmaker could work as well. We're gonna play four and a half bar backspin, two right spins. We set the spin first, then we'll look for the bottom of the red ring by the rough line, with the tip of the ball guideline to be just in between the bright and the dark green square row to be one green square right of pin. Medium distance with a 35% over adjustment, power zero ball. And we are aiming to have a small 1201 here. You can see this angle here means that we're go not going to use any curl. If we do have a wind angle that points more left of what we do have in the video, we're going to use one click of right curl. Uh, angle that points more right of what we have in the video, we're going to use one click of left curl. So no curl here. Hit perfect. And this is going to be a good chance. Bounces nicely on the fairway, getting up on the green, uh, catching that little groove there, right that pin for a beautiful hole in one on hole number two. For hole number three, we do have a tough wind. I recommend to play with a power five ball with some wind resistance, but this shot and play has been tested with a berserker and will work here as well. Start with the bullseye just by the rough line at the plus 7 yard mark with a POC 5 plus. A POC 4 starts at plus 13 using 6 top spin and 2 right spin. Maximum distance with a 30% over adjustment and the reason we're using 30 is because we're aiming so close to the rough there. So we increase the adjustment to have a simple landing spot. Great left is fine, great right is fine and perfect is fine. We go full curl right. Uh, and the max overpower with a slightly slower needle. Our goal here is to get the ball up to 395 to 405 yards. That, that's the goal, but obviously it's tough when we go with max overpower to always get into that range. But we do our best. Now, we're going to do a back fringe check. So we're going to move up and it's going to be where the fringe meets the green. You can see we have plus 10 is our number there. 
So now we're gonna use a five bars of top spin, or let's say like this. We're gonna put the top of the yellow ring to be just by the edge of the rough and have the ball guideline to go just through the hole. There we go. And then we're gonna have 10% uh, elevation uh, to as a, as a default here, power five ball settings. And from plus 10, we're gonna have 54% slider. And once again, 54% slider, 10% elevation with the power five ball numbers. And you will notice here now that I'm gonna drop this one on the right side of the cup, and that's because I play 50% slider. So the slider that is suggested is 54% slider to have um, a little bit more room for a faulty adjustment, as I do estimate 54 would drop right at pin instead of the 50 that drops right uh, cup here on hole number three. For hole number four, we're gonna start with a power three ball in absolute minimum distance. So here I'm playing with a king slayer, four and a half bar a backspin, and one right spin. What I'm looking for here now is to have the third bounce, sorry, the fourth bounce it is even, to be at the top left of the cup. You can see that when I'm zooming it in, very important to try to position your shot in that way. After finding the position, you can switch to another ball if you would like. The P power 3 is only to get ourselves into complete minimum distance. So, we do have maximum distance with a 10% elevation power 1 ball settings here. For 6.7 miles per hour, we have just 7.3 rings. Perfect ball. And we will see the ball bounce on the fairway up towards the pin. And we'll let it sneak in on the right hand side for a lovely hole in one here on hole number four. Hole number five has, as long as it has been in game, been so boring. I, I mean, I've never really been a fan of this hole. So here we're playing for a safe eagle as the wind is going to be direct headwind on the second shot. And that's going to be some, not impossible, obviously, but it's going to require a special ball, big boy clubs to have any sort of chance for an albatross on the second shot. NMT. Don't touch the target until it's time to adjust the range. Max plus 15, power three ball settings. Three left spin, six top spin. And we are going with outside wall left curl. If you play with Apocalypse level 4, you play with two rings of overpower after your adjustment. This to compensate for the less power you have on that club. Playing with a Kingmaker as well, um, yes do. I mean, you can play with, uh, with a Titan as well to add a little bit more curl, but Kingmaker is the suggested ball. Second shot, we play with the, the club that gives us six bars of topspin and the best accuracy to get with that. For me, that's Cataclysm, but it could also be the big dog for you, especially if you have a Cataclysm in a low level. And you can see here, we could technically do for a double bounce into the rough there, but that would require a lot of overpower with Kingmaker, and we would need somewhat a power 5 ball with some wind resistance to do that. And I'm not interested in doing that, not in the qualifying round. Max plus 10, power 3 ball settings is what I'm doing. I'm aiming for the second bounce to be one ring before the rough line. This, as I do want the ball to somewhat end up I would say somewhat centered into the rough or at least not uh, not as far back in the rough so we are risking not rolling out we bounce into the rough we roll out we have a simple pot here for an eagle what we're doing is that we're using outside wall left curl and we're also using oh whatever overpower you adjust into plus half a ring is what we're using for the approach on hole five Hole number six, I really do enjoy this approach. Start with a quarterback at NMT with a power three ball, then switch to the Apocalypse and uh, it's Grizzly bag. Apocalypse Grizzly bag. Three left spin, no top spin, no back spin. We're gonna adjust max plus five power three ball settings. And then we're gonna apply a max overpower with super slow needle and half a ball of left curl. You can see I'm playing with a Kingslayer, you can play with a Kingmaker as well. Up to you what ball you wanna spend, really. Perfect ball, 
and you will see here that we bounce on the fairway we're getting over the rough on the left hand side a control drive that gets into a very very nice position and this is gonna be uh 330 yards it's what we're aiming for so this is spot on now we focus on dropping the next shot with the grizzly so we do have the grizzly on the second shot as already said and now we're going to set one and a half top spin and we're going to have half a bar of left spin ball guideline shall now go left side of the cup it should be pin high but it's going to be left side of the cup so a small little offset there and now we're going to read the plus yardage we do have on our uh, landing position here now uh, and so we do that with no elevation so we're gonna play in this instance plus four is gonna be 79 percent slider with no elevation applied and that's gonna be grizzly nine have in mind that if you play with grizzly seven or grizzly eight you shall use grizzly nine numbers in app very important bounce into the rough this shot is great left and great right safe because I've tested it great left and great right. That's the beauty with such a good accuracy that the Grizzly has uh, because then we're not going to have any troubles with great balls. For hole number seven, we're going to play four backspin, one left spin, and it's going to be an NMT. So it means that we're not going to touch the target until it's time to adjust the rings. Here is very important that you can play this shot with a power zero up to power two ball. You can play with a power three, four or five because you will go in between clubs. Minimum distance with a 5% elevation. And uh, we will have in this case, um, power two ball settings as adjustment. So it's not gonna be that much. 6.3 miles per hour gives us a 4.7 rings and I pull over the bullseye every time very important to have that in mind two clicks of left curl uh, on this shot because this is an in-between angle um if we have wind angle more left of what we have in the video we would be using no curl more right of what we do have in the video we're gonna go with four clicks of left curl instead just to compensate for the different wind angles here in hole number seven Hole 8 are gonna be tough. Uh, what we have been testing here is basically so much. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So we settled for a rough bump, which we believe is the best chance uh, for a drop. 4.8 top spin to right spin. Aiming with the bullseye just by the edge of the, um, edge of the bunker line there. And then we are going to adjust max plus 10, power 5. For 11.3 miles per hour, we push up to plus 14. What you need to do with playing with an Apocalypse level 4 is to push up an extra 6 yards. So that would be to push up to plus 20. Max curl right and uh, overpower with a slower needle. The idea is to clip the rough and roll out like this to give ourselves the best possible angle when it comes to the Grizzly. 381. And here now it comes the tricky part. Because this, the drive is not that tricky, right? So the second shot, we go a pin shake, which is in this case plus five. I'm using two left spin and one and a click back spin here in this video. Looking to have top of the yellow ring by the rough line. Ball guideline through the hole here. Very important to have the ball guideline through the hole, I must say. Now, you can see here that depending on what type of wind angle we're going to have, we're either going to have more tailwind or less tailwind, kind of makes sense. But more tailwind puts us further down into the bunker, which means that we're going to have to mix there with a 1201 here. So a 1201 is needed. It's a strong 1201 that is needed or we will plug this ball into the bunker, which also means that it's going to be very tough to replicate that 1201 as it is with all pull angles without... I mean, getting an inconsistent wrestle. Sure, there is way of doing a backspin shot with Saturn, backspin shot with Guardian, but then we'd have no ball guideline to aim for the pin, which also becomes some sort of a lottery. You can also try to send this ball to green, but you're not going to be on green. You're going to be in the rough or in the sand somewhere by the green uh, as a best case scenario, which also is not something that is sufficient to suggest in my opinion. So this is the best we have. For you all, obviously, you choose whatever way you want to play yourself.
For hole number 9 we're going to play with our quarterback and no movement shot, super simple, so we're not going to touch our target until it's time to adjust the reins. 3.9 top spin and 1 left spin. Adjustment is going to be 1 to 1, so that's super simple. For those that don't really know what that is and want to use your app, you play max plus 5 power 2 ball settings. So 7.5 reins for 7.5 miles per hour. Center the ball, hit perfect. And we're playing with a kingmaker here. For those of you that do have a possibility to play with a luminary, I would say that a luminary would almost be better because that would most definitely give you some room to go short on drive. Here with a power three ball, we kind of need to get up to where we are now. Otherwise, we will not struggle with the second shot, but at least we will be in a position where we might need to use some overpower, which is not really fun. Uh, obviously there is shots that you can send it over to the other side we are working on some sort of approach uh, to that in the guide and uh, unfortunately not something we have 100% consistent yet and I hate when it's not consistent then we could leave it outside in my opinion because this is simple enough we're gonna use six top spin two right spin so it's either gonna be the cataclysm or the big dog whatever club gives you the best accuracy of those two use that club Ball guidelines center down and we're going to adjust max plus a 10 power 3 ball settings here. So adjustment uh, is going to be done. And we're going to center the ball, no overpower, no curl whatsoever. Just get the ball down the fairway. The idea here now is to actually get the ball short so we can do a frame check with the thorn. Uh, and uh, because the thorn here is the club that we are choosing when we do play an expert very few rings to adjust and stuff like that so we're gonna change here in uh, the info boxes here we're gonna change to the thorn to uh, go we're gonna change to the thorn and we're gonna change to mid uh, distance here so what we're gonna do here on hole number nine though which might be new for uh, some of you that are watching here is that I want you to preset your slider at 62% eleva 62 slider with 10% elevation power 3 ball settings. Because what we're going to do here is that we're going to add or subtract decimals from there depending on what plus yardage we do have by the fringe. Right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to do a check where the fringe meets the green, which in this case is going to be plus 1. Have that in mind now that we're playing 62% slider from plus 4. So we have that program, let's say for the sake of the example, it gives us four rings. Then we should take four rings and do minus 0 0.3. So we should in that case play 3.7. Have in mind that, that the number that I gave you now when it comes to the amount of rings doesn't reflect what I adjust there in the video because I unfortunately don't really remember exactly how many rings that I do adjust there. 10% elevation P3. And again, we add or subtract based on the base a number we have at 62% slider from plus four. Write the pin, no spin shot as well with a thorn. Couldn't be easier than that. Hole number nine for y'all. Thank you so much everybody for watching this playthrough for Expert Division for the qualifying round here for the Thanksgiving tournament in Golf Clash the game. Video sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Make sure that you do go and get our expert guide or pro or master on patreon.com slash Golf Clash Tommy. Link directly in the description down below thank you once again for watching good luck in your golf clash game